and we're back and we're ready for the set how how are you doing your your mic is on now by the way all right uh i guess i should start huh yes whenever you're ready all uh, right so i'm gonna warm up with the song i wrote in high school um yeah it's pretty straightforward it's it's called secret despair what a high school title am i right all right <laughs> Pages to store. I wish you'd tear me open. Even though you can't read, Walking by myself, swimming secret despair. I wanna be the one. You want me to leave? <laughs> this next song is, is a song. Fred was born in an empty store. He thought the star was a real boy. Who waltzed in the town? A desperate demand for the crown. With open arms he took the blast The heavy grin he sang at last And all the people fumbling around Forget what makes their crown They won't know what it then When their lights burn away Liz took it in stride The man who told the open wine A festering wound Under the cover Insisting on a form of recover Well, folks had quite the shock When they found what was behind the lock Flowers on the stand in hand, a silent symphony for a long decade. Yeah. And crystalline were the memories of a single tear. And all the people fumbling around forget what makes their crown. They won't know what it them. When their lights burn away Michael and Michelle Laughing through the farewell Enjoying the sun Love until it's done The eve of the flame Is the end of the game They won't mind 
They say they'll keep their bind And all the people fumbling around Forget what makes their crown They won't know what it them When their lights burn away Lights on you to stay Okay, um, do do. All right, this next one is a, it's a pretty new one. Uh, I don't even remember if I came up with a title or not, but I think I did. What's my chance? And not being a loser It's below birth But it ain't for me It ain't for you Now give it a look Say hello me I'm under the table Say no me I'm not meant for stable No, no Um, hmm, <laughs> this next song is called Moontide. Crumple. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't remember what key it's in. Never mind. This next song, it's also a new one. Yeah. Yeah, solid today. What's in the back of my mind? Yeah, solid outside. Waiting for a chance and asking for a plea. Waiting for the end. Yeah, solid outside. The devil with his ray gun. Yeah, I saw him in me. Waiting for a chance. And asking for a plea. And waiting at the end.
Yeah, solid today. Waiting in the back of the line. Yeah, solid today. Yeah, solid today. Uh, this next song is called Mugged. And hold my head up to the wall, break my neck and feet. And got nowhere to be, still you give me a beat. And take my money. And take my life, I don't care Cause I'll just stay sleeping in a dumpster I've had enough, that's it Hold a gun up to my head While you ask for some change And I empty my pockets Now I'm bleeding all night And take my money and tell me lie, I don't care So I'll just spit sleeping in a dumpster I've had enough, that's it Hold my head up to a wall Break my neck and feet I'm got nowhere to be here Still you give me a pee Hold a gun up to my head While you ask for some change And I empty my pockets Now I'm bleeding all night And take my money And take my life I don't care So I'll just spit Sleeping in a dumpster I've had enough That's it <laughs> That was fun Okay, this next song, it's a, it's a fan favorite. <laughs> it's called The Same Way. You take the dog now for a walk and crush him in your face. Let him loose and hide guts so he can't be men. The blood will flow into the shoulder, the cause will never slip. As colorblind as you are, my heart still goes to you. And looking back so long. A whole lot of nothing The situation has changed But still feel the same way and Take a rest from your grief I understand your pain I distract you with the good in life Still waiting to reach and Time will tell it We will see each other's eyes again The splitting of our souls Could have been the best cause Looking back so long A whole lot of nothing The situation has changed I still feel, I still feel, I 
I still feel the same way Remember last night, a tar was near, a singing in his ear. It wasn't the first time, I wanted to be the last time, whatever that means. Whatever I kill, it'll be the last time, my calluses will grow, will grow alone, my voice will tear. Tear in solitude. The solitude is the solution. And lonesome is past the dream. Remember this morning. Well, I should don't It's right in my face Right in the dead man The dead man with the bar Oh, a while for a bear I remember this moment Fleeting in the air My calluses will shrink With it to the bone My voice is null Null and empty Empty is the, the solution Lonesome is past the Um, yeah, let's do something a little slow and boring. Yeah. This, this song is called Youthful Immolation. your insistence in goblins and spells you cast Guess I'm just gonna improvise A little disruption Can help ease the sanity We lazily diagnose
So get your religion out of my face. Now with your no time it fears youthful glee is none of your concern. As used up as you are, trying cracking at the falls, you were once squandering a life that we deserve. And even if it means immolation, immolation. I guess that's nice, right? This next song is called Ed Loves Diarrhea. If you're the kind of person you know, well, 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 well. Who likes diarrhea? Well, you're a freaking weird. Well, shoopity do, squiddly bob, a weep scop scoopity do, a poopsie poo. This next song, this, this, this next song is called The President. Everybody wants to be the president. Everybody ignores me. Take him outside and give him a ride. He'll take him outside and say they're free. Now everybody wants to kill the president Everybody gangs up with me Take me outside and give him a ride We'll take him outside and set him free Now everybody wants to end the president Everybody wants to end me Take me outside and give me a ride. You'll take me outside and set me free! Ooh. Uh, how am I doing on time? You're probably good for like maybe two or three more songs. Okay, okay. If you're if you're up for that. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. This next song is called Illusion. For a moment we can remember that we're human. We can believe that the heart is more than a muscle. A little illusion might bring a smile Write your wish For once Old Saint Nick Might have a lead 
with yourself Proclaim curfew For even the moon has its bright night And toss a bucket down the banner celebration needs no dedication cause I never thought that the world was more than just dirt Promise me this last forever and Promise me the world again and Promise me I'll be here tomorrow Promise me this last forever I remember that day You mentioned Nirvana Who would have guessed That we'd go so far And I still love you Circumstance murdered us I still love you Faults in the hand we can't grasp I still love you I can't help but wonder I still love you We could be I still together love And so I was Happy as can be I didn't even realize How hard it was for you The comfort from my dreams Is something that I meant And I still love you The circumstance murdered us I still love you Faults in the hand we can't grab I still love you I can't help but wonder I still love you We could be I still together Love you And I still love you And I still
Um, yeah. This next song is called. Oh. Okay, yeah. This next song is the last one. It's called I Can't Help But Hate Myself. It's another one of those high school songs, you know? of misery and help me uncover myself and good intentions mean nothing in the end the ones I love think nothing to me I still allow myself to shed a sour tear for them I wish I could improve myself wrong But what I express led to rejection Feelings I feel and now they're noise And I can't help but hate myself And I understand why I'm all alone And bottles still hide My guts that I spill The ones I love And truly hate me I die obsessed Wanting to be a better man For her What I express Led to rejection Feelings I feel Are the annoyance And I can't help But in See how long I can hold that. Okay. Thank you. This has been Squid Sacks on Wicked. One or one oh nine point two. One oh two five. Ah, that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh we're gonna give you a sec to uh catch your breath, grab some water. We've got some more songs uh that you've recommended here. Uh this next one uh being Devil Got My Woman by Where's the artist? Skip James. Skip James, come on. Uh, here we go. That was Ramshackle by Beck. That was a, that was a nice little song. I enjoyed that. I, I really like Beck. He's like, I like basically rip him off when I play. <laughs> Very nice, uh, calming kind of evening uh, vibes, I guess. Yeah, that's what I go for. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I got some some questions written down here, and if you have other things you want to bring up, feel free to just you know do that. Uh, uh, is this is this a good time to plug my socials and stuff? There? Yes, go for it. <laughs> so you could find me anywhere on the internet. Squid Sacks, S Q U I D, no space. It's very important. S A C K S. Again, S Q U I D, no space. S A C K S. So the animal squid and sacks as in multiple bags. It's on Spotify. It's on, I'm on Instagram. I think Instagram is Squid Sacks underscore art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So, if you, if you enjoyed that set, as you, I'm sure you did, because you should. Oh, uh, oh you're so sweet. You uh, you can find, find, more of that, find more of that cool music. Uh, so, one of the questions I had for you is, and we, we were talking about this a little bit, but how did you uh, get started in music? Kind of how did that get you to to where you are now which is performing live just oh, around a lot of coincidences music. so i didn't even listen to music when i was a kid i know weirdest thing there were like maybe two artists i ever listened to but like at the end of middle school one of my friends told me like oh i have a, con- a guitar and i was like oh cool my mom has a guitar too from when she was like 18 or something so like he brought his guitar over and like i had took my mom's guitar and we played it for a bit 
And like I kind of liked it, so I got a teacher for like a month, hated that, almost quit guitar. But then one of my friends, other friends told me I should start bringing my guitar to school because he found out I play. And so I started doing that every day, just playing in the halls, like random people would stop by, listen, or play themselves, you know, that sort of thing. And I just kept at it, and it kind of forced me to just, I don't know, just just keep at it, I guess. And I just start writing songs and... When I was 15, I started recording the, the worst music you'll, you'd ever hear, ever. But uh, I, I'm proud of it either way. And it led to whatever the heck this is now. And I, I, I can't, I wouldn't take it back for the world. And then now you're on the 102.5 WKD LP, Daytona Beach. This is my climax. I, this <laughs> is no going up from here. Uh, so what do you think is next for you? Either short term, long term? you have a goal or you just kind of you're going to do whatever um well ideally i'd like to be on top of the world be able to command everybody's music takes taste to make them listen to my stuff but ah, i feel it out um i have a couple things coming up in december short term in december 3rd i'm doing a recording session with houndstooth cottage which is a indie record label in uh miami awesome it's it's like a special event thing where they have a bunch of artists come and each artist has like 30 minutes to record and i'm gonna i invited my friend jeremy sosa to play with me for that and just probably whip it out live warts and all um i think december 17th i'm tr- in the process of putting something together i don't want to say anything more just because it's still in the early planning phases yeah very cool and we can check your social medias for that that's right there uh, you go <laughs> very exciting um so something that i like to ask um a lot of people come my show is any advice that you have for people who are maybe just starting to kind of get into making music whether that be into songwriting or just maybe picking up an instrument or any part of that process you know how how do you maybe get started with that well the biggest issue is like sticking with it right Uh, like i said i almost quit guitar because it just wasn't very fun it wasn't until I sort of like reinvented it for myself, and, like found excuses to just do weird stuff, like play in high school and whatnot, and it forced me to make weird songs. And that's like the next thing, like be adventurous your songwriting. Don't just play the same one, four, five chord progression over and over again. Do, do something weird. Play some weird seven chord in conjunction with this dissonant like somewhat fake chord like somewhere in the neck i don't know make it work go crazy that's how interesting songs are born that's how the beatles made their cool stuff that's how nirvana made their cool things just go crazy (laughs) but what do i know i'm i'm just a a wee little solo acoustic man right now i don't know anything and I, i guess that brings me a little bit to my next question which is do you have like a typical songwriting process like is there one way that that usually looks for you um oh that's tough when i for the longest time and still to an extent now what i would do is i would intertwine my songwriting almost completely with the recording process because i went to college for music production i love doing music production so basically i just record drums without any real plan for what the song would be like just layer stuff on top of it make the drums like okay maybe i could do this kind of guitar progression here Oh, cool, let's put some bass there, this and that. So sometimes it makes something terrible, but sometimes it, like, brings out these weird song structures that, like, I wouldn't think of normally. It forces me to use weird timing and chords and melodies. And, of course, for a lot of the songs I played tonight especially, I would just take my acoustic guitar, just fiddle with it, and just sing over it, you know? Maybe record a demo on my phone real quick so I don't forget it then I'll layer it with that in mind. So it's like either extreme. I either plan it out from the beginning or just totally wing it in the studio. (laughs) It's it's just one of the two. It just depends. Yeah. Interesting. And I guess guess that's just something that's going to look different for everybody. So it's always interesting to hear how people do that because I, I don't, I'm not a songwriter, so I'm just always fascinated by how that works. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work. That's what's <coughs> fun about it. You can do whatever the heck you want, and it's like, it's crazy. Like, there's just no limit. Just go nuts. That's, 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 that's the main thing I want to get across. Just go crazy. Yeah. Anyways, go on. <laughs> um, 
another thing is, and this is again kind of based on that, is since you do just kind of, you know, whatever sounds right, I guess. Do you have like a specific? Well, you you wouldn't say you have a specific genre, would you? Um, a lot for like what the stuff I was doing tonight. A lot of times I'd group what I do under this weird umbrella called anti-folk. It's like folk music, but like anti. Right. Uh, again, like a lot of the music I make is like recorded in the studio, just completely different. I say studio, I mean my bedroom. So I don't know. So like, it's like either anti-folk or like, I guess rock. Mm. Some weird place on the rock spectrum. There's a lot in rock. I don't know. We're out there. Go further than that. And, And that's another thing. It's like, I don't know. Genres are like, I mean, you don't really need to stick to a genre. If you make music, it's cool. People like it. It doesn't need a genre. What's the difference? Yeah. That's genres are overrated, man. That's true. I mean, they're a good guide, you know? Like, yeah. sometimes it's good to listen to the foundations or fundamentals of something and then work off it from there. But, I don't know, don't get stuck in that thinking. Like, you only can make it this way. Like, a lot of metal musicians and bands in particular, I think that's the case where they would... Like, you have to play this many blast beats, you have to do it this fast, you have to play these kinds of chords. It's like, okay, I get it, but, like, you can do more than that. I don't know. The genre is just vibes, you know? Yeah, (laughs) you can say that about a lot of things. Nothing wrong with it. (coughs) There's no room to go crazy at that, you know? Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. So, do you have just a favorite part about making music? Uh, any part of that process. Um, or I guess that extends to just being a musician in general. Yeah, like right now I'm having a lot of fun like just doing this sort of thing, like playing live with my acoustic guitar. I just got a drummer, so I'll be playing live with that guy. That'll be fun. But in general, like throughout the time I've been making music, I would say my most consistently enjoyable aspect of it was mixing. Because I find mixing to be a very creative step in that you get to finally put everything together. And you get to add embellishments where necessary in the mix, and then sometimes you have to know when to step back. Like, you can make or break a song with a good or bad mix, I think. And I have a lot of fun trying to find that. I'm not the best mixer. Not by a long shot. Like, there are a lot of things I make which I look back on and think, oh, the bass is way too loud there. Like, oh, that's a really obnoxious cymbal sound. Eh. But hey, that's just part of the quirk of being a self-producer, I guess. But yeah, mixing. I have a lot of fun with that. Uh, Do you have any specific musical influences or people, like, I guess, bands or uh, artists who you would say influence your music more directly than others? Uh, My biggest single music influence, I say, is Beck. The the last song you played on those songs I sent you. Um, I don't want to say I'm trying to copy him, but like he inspired me to do a lot of what I do do. <coughs> if it wasn't for Beck, I probably would never be playing solo acoustic. Like with his like, weird anti folk solo acoustic things early in his career, that showed me like, oh my god, you could do crazy stuff with just an acoustic guitar and your voice. Like, cause I'm so used to like hearing, you know, it's, it's typical singer songwriter esque songs like. You know, I'm not trying to say they're all bad, but I don't know. Something about what Beck was doing is incredibly interesting to me, and it always stuck with me. And there are other things that influenced me, too, like the Beatles, Nirvana, Pink Floyd, Pixies, Frank Black. The list goes on. And I, that's always a cool thing to see with any artist is a lot of the time they'll have combinations of different other artists or just genres or you know whatever mixed in with just other little things and it just makes their own unique sound which is is kind of cool yeah i guess that's all what art is is just a combination of previous achievements with whatever perspective an individual might have on it i think there are some people go crazy and like completely reinvent stuff of course but that's when revolutions in a a scene happen something brand new comes out even then, like a lot of times, they have influences, you know. Um. So another thing, and this is more of like a just a fun little question that I like to ask people sometimes is that: Do you have like a if there was like a music festival, what would be like your dream 
lineup for a music festival that you would like have to go to. Ugh. Because sometimes I see music festivals like, dang, this would be really cool if like only this, these two artists were also there. Um, hmm. Back from 1994, uh, Nirvana, Pixies, Primus, probably. I feel like that'd be a fun show. Uh, hmm. What are some good live bands? I'd have to think about that. Maybe something like Mr. Bungle would be fun just because they're already insane. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just any band that makes a live show that's either really tight or just an absolute experience, you know? Not, I'm not saying, like, props and stuff, but I mean, like, do something interesting with your song, something you wouldn't hear in the studio. Like, Ween, Ween. Oh, that's a great example. Not Queen. Ween with a W. They're one of my favorite bands I ever saw live. They... Like, they would, like, pull out, like, random B-sides that they have that, like, you would never expect a band to pull out. And they'd, like, do, you know, crazy things. And it was fun. I loved seeing them. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and then one, I, this is my last question. We ran through these pretty fast, which is interesting. Uh-oh. Uh Great. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, we can keep chatting if you want or, you know, we'll figure it out. But It's up to you. It's your show. Uh, so <laughs> this is, like, kind of a random question. But we ask it to most people who come through here just because we think it's a, I don't know, a fun little question. Um, but it's, if you were a breakfast food, what breakfast food would you be? Hmm. I've eaten spaghetti for breakfast. Can <coughs> I do that? So I've gone with the argument that if anything, if you eat anything first thing in the morning, it is technically breakfast. Or if it's the first thing you eat during the day. Oh, in that case, and that's like pretty much everything I've eaten in my life probably. I've had pizza <laughs> for breakfast. I've had spaghetti, like I said, chicken nuggets. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going for spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti or Cheerios. Cheerios. Also, good, good, uh, a good choice. Yeah, th- th- I love that perfectly balanced level of blandness and fiber. <laughs> it really pumps through the veins with passion, you know? Right. Oops. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> Hello. just breaking a desk. It's okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm looking through other questions I have from potentially other things because I, we somehow sped run through those questions. Ah, man, I thought I was like talking too much (laughs) with my answers. I'm sorry. I should drag on more. (laughs) Hmm. 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 We could talk about dysentery. (laughs) Well, here's, here's another question that I'm, I was curious about before. That I didn't write down, but I I do remember I was thinking of this. What uh what makes you choose your the name Squid Sax? Is there is there a story behind that? <laughs> uh, it's like a weird like mythos level of like I don't even know. Like in in middle school, I knew this guy named Ramsey. Called him Ramsey Radish because he was obsessed with radishes, and like as, I don't know somewhere in middle school. somewhere in that time frame. The nickname Squid Sacks came about. I don't know if he made it up or I did. Maybe it was, I don't know. Either way, like that, that, this title fell upon me, and I was proud to take part of it. Like I remember once we even dissected a squid in eighth grade, and I was so happy I got to touch a squid. I didn't even wash my hands afterwards. It was, it was probably not the best idea, but hey, I was, what, like 12? Who cares? But yeah, it was just a random nickname, and when I started making music, I was thinking like, hmm, Connor Hunt is super boring, and there are probably a million of those online. Squid Sacks, nobody's got that. I'm going to that. It was bestowed upon you, and you were you just embraced it. Yeah, I mean, people remember it, but they don't remember how to spell it, which is the problem. Like, some people, like, spell it, like, sax, saxophone, or they put a space between the squid and the sax, and that, like, you can't find it online since I'm not super popular. You know, sometimes... They think sax is like a completely different word. I'm not going to say an error because I might get in trouble. I'm sure you can guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's where that came from. I don't even know. Wacky. Yeah. That, that's interesting. I was, I was like, I was like, squids. I mean, Why? Squids are pretty dope, though. They are pretty, yeah. they're interesting creatures. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a super tangent story. Um, but uh, when I was younger, I went to like, a summer camp and there was like I was friends with these people and we had this one or two of my friends had like these hats that 
just looked like squids and this became and it became a whole thing where we would all walk around with squid hats. It was a whole thing. I have no idea how it started. That sounds good to me. I'll take it. Yeah. So, I guess if you're in the market for a hat, they they do sell those. I got to make sure that squids aren't copyrighted or anything like that, though. All squids? Probably not. Probably not. Maybe like a genetically engineered squid, but I don't think we have those, do we? <laughs> ah, just get real squids and staple them in the people's skulls. There you go. That's, that's a choice. That is something you can do. Yeah. Bonus points, but still squirming. <laughs> All right. Well, I will let you... Why don't you go ahead and plug your socials uh, one more time. Give us the... Uh, the spelling and such. Right, that's like the most important thing out of all this. Forget the music. You gotta know how to spell my my narcissistic, self-imposed stage name. Um, yeah. So, I am Squid Sax. Okay, it's the animal squid and Sax as in bags. So S Q U I D, no space. That's very important. S A C K S. Again, S Q U I D. No space, S-A-C-K-S. And I'm on Spotify. I have a YouTube. I have an Instagram account. It's squidsax underscore art because someone already took squidsax. Gosh darn it. Uh, you know, just like all those places, Apple Music, whatever distro kid distributes music to. That's where my stuff's at. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank uh, you for allowing me to make sounds here. It was, it was something. Yeah, we appreciate having you. And this was really fun. Uh, we hope you had a good time, and yeah, and I I don't know. This is this has been really really great. I love you. <laughs> have uh, everybody have a great night, and I will uh, be here same time next week. Hell yeah! Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Okay.